Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3, The Tyranny of King Washington Part 1, The Infamy. That was a really long time. I'm not going to say that next time. But when we left off, guys, we were taking out these guys. We were trying to set fire. Oh, God, sorry. I've got my mic a bit close to my mouth there. We were taking out these... <coughs> <coughs> great start. <coughs> Fucking hell, I'm joking. This is a great start to a video, guys. Basically, we were taking out these guys that had torches and that were trying to blow up these houses. So, what we're doing is we're killing them. I think... Have we got them all? Yes, we have. That was a quick thing. Well, actually, it wasn't that quick at all. It was, uh, it was quite a long mission, to be honest. It took us 20 minutes to do. Or around, around about, around about 19, 20 minutes. I'm just going to go with 20, because it's a bigger number. Right. He tried to destroy the entire town. It was all my fault. I do not understand. Washington knows me. He is a man of reason, if nothing else. But that was not the man I once called my friend. Are you confused? When would you ever have met that monster? I met him. I... Mother, this is all wrong. Washington, the violence, all of it. We must get back and warn our people in the village. Before the Mad King spreads his destruction there. Connor just gets more confused and confused as time goes on, doesn't he? This is ridiculous. Right, so... What are we doing? We're going to mount. We're going to mount a horse to continue. Right, let's do this. We've got to follow, follow home. Getting on your horse. If anyone should go the opposite direction, where I'm What did I say? Right, come on, let's follow the bitch. No, nope, sorry, that's my mother. That's my dead mother. That's not actually alive, but is actually dead because this is an alternate reality where my mother didn't die for some strange reason. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, to be quite honest. Oh, that's where we killed Charles Lee, isn't Lexington it? I knew was oh. the scene of a great triumph. But now it is a place of disaster. Yep. It is. I'll agree with you on that one, Connor. Yep. This is, uh, this is this ridiculous. Way. It will be oh. oh, hello. Oh, okay, we'll go this way. Uh, yeah, so this is a place of destruction, isn't it, Connor? It really is. Right, so we're heading back home to the village. To the village. Oh, oh crap! Oh, here we go. Here we go again. Time for more combat. Oh shit! Oh shit! All right, don't worry. We got this. We got that skip. Why are there so many guards? That's what I don't understand. I think what they did was because you couldn't fight the armies in Assassin's Creed 3. What they did was they added more guards into this, so you had a bigger like like amount of people that you could actually fight rather than how it was in Ace 3 when there was like not that many people and you could see these huge armies that you really wanted to go against. But you couldn't, would you? Because I don't know. I don't know why, to be quite honest. I've got no idea. No, I really don't. I just don't know. But this is this is good. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying it. Thoroughly. But oh my god. Oh my god. What? Wow. Right, okay. Mad King George is on the war path and intends to destroy our village. We need every able body to protect it. Come with us. We know. Oyanair sent us to collect the boughs of the Great Willow. Doctor, I've been slapped in the face. for us to defend our people. To make the tea? Has she lost her senses? Not the tea. The tea's pitfalls overshadow its power. You must not do it. You have seen what it can do. Is it dangerous? I have seen it. It is worse than dangerous. It is a promise of madness, even death, for those who lack the constitution. We cannot disobey the clan, mother. Believe me! The tea of the Great Willow is folly. Come back with us. We will fulfill the clan mother's request. We will collect the bows. Speak to Oyanair, and if you can convince her, we will burn them. I intend. Right, so they're planning on making some mystical tea. Well, pfft, start again. So this guy who's been slapped in the face by a muddied hand is going to make some tea, which then Connor is going to drink. That's a bit weird. I mean, you know. What drink is the, the tea whoa. of the Great Willow? Something our people should never have That's discovered. That's the uh, Great Willow, isn't it? It is the tea it. brewed of the Great Willow's virgin boughs and consumed by our world. Grant certain strengths rather than Hungarian, but for every physical boon it gives, it robs a piece of the mind. It must never be made. Did you drink it? 
Never. But I have seen what happens to those who do. You are the son of a man of violence. It would affect you far more than anyone else. Yeah, I was the son of Hatham. I will not allow you to drink it. Son of Hatham. Hatham Kenway. Yes, glad. And I am Redon Hageton. Or oh, Ray. Ray Kenway. Ray. He doesn't have a second name, does he? Let's go with Kenway. Down with Kenway. You intend to brew tea of the Great Willow? Have you forgotten the consequence of drinking it? I have not. No, Ganadio. But when our people face a threat like the Mad King, there are no other paths. No other paths? We can fight them as human beings! My son and I have had success, just the two of us. Imagine the strength of our whole village. And how many of these fearless blue coats have you brought down at a time? Two? Five? Ten? Thousands will come to destroy us. Thousands that you awoke. Our people's survival depends on the strength of the Great Willow. You are as mad as the king. Do what you will, but my son will not drink the tea. Then, like you, he will die. Oh, God, that's a bit dramatic. What? Well, something I've realised is they're not speak. They're speaking English. They're not speaking their language. Why is that? Stupid old woman. What would you have us do, mother? We have no choice but to fight. I know. I have something that will help. Something from your father. My father? He left it for you long ago. Before he died. Before he died? No. Ethan? He was really cool. I wish we could have met him in this. I was thinking, like, I might get to meet Ethan, but... Hidden blades. Obviously, he knows what they are. My father left those for me. He was part of an order. A secret brotherhood. I know who my father was. Oh. And I know what those are. A secret brotherhood? No, he yeah. wasn't. They will certainly help. How do you know all this? I cannot explain. Everything is all wrong here. All of this should not be. You should not be. I watched you. Right. So, wait. Wait, Hatham was part of a secret brotherhood? Wait, what? Is this an alternate universe where Hatham was an assassin? Because, or maybe he lied to her, and we're gonna find out. We're eventually gonna find out. I really hope we are because that's insane. So, and he knows what they are, obviously, because he remembers the other world. I thought this would just be an alternate reality, and it's kind of good what they've done here. I like that they've made it so that, um, so that kind of remembers AC3 because. That means that it's the same character, it's not a different Connor, it's the run exact same the Connor. Forest. And we can connect with Connor. Did he just say run to the forest? Yes, when there's fire everywhere, run into the fucking forest. Good idea there, Connor, you idiot. Oh my god. Anyway, the music's good. It's like um, a tribal variation on the main music from AC3. Right, yeah. So, Get out of here. you can connect with Connor better in the DLC, no because, like, rather than being a character you've never known before, because it's an alternate Connor, it's not the same Connor in an alternate world, which is always awesome. This is, this fight is going on for a long time. How many guards? What the hell? I just jumped off a metaphorical wall. The wall wasn't even there. Anyway, this is weird. What is going on? I, there's so many guards, and they're all infiltrating the village. This is, it's a lot of guards, flipping out. Wow, a lot of guys. Oh, Christ, that was easier than I expected because we took out that officer guy really, really fast. Ow, uh, in the face. Bloody hell, how many times did he want to smash me in the face with that knife of his? There we go, got you. You remain in the area. You must area. Flee. Oh, the hood's gone. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Oh, God. Right, that, that looks awesome. This is an awesome scene. I am seriously loving this. Yeah, this is... Oh my god. 
It's so epic, is what it is. That's the way I can describe it. What's going on with the sound? That's why I don't quite understand. It's a bit weird. Right, so pretty awesome, except for the music ball stuff. Might be part of the scene. I don't know. Maybe. No, 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 no. Okay, um, I was just checking, I was just pausing it to see um, if that fixed the music problem, which it didn't. Probably part of the scene. Oh. Have I seen you? Have I seen you? Uh, scene. Hello. So unnecessary. No, General Putnam. General Putnam. General Arnold. I sometimes despair of our project. I question my abilities and my strength. But with you two at my side, I believe we will bring liberty to this country. We will bring it with fists of iron. I have assurance of your loyalty. You have my solemn pledge. And mine. Thank you, honorable gentlemen. This country will remember you. Give no quarter to the savages! Can't end well. You will not succeed here. <laughs> you, you survived. How astonishing. This, is this time I'll make certain of your death. <gasps> no. What do you mean? <laughs> quick, Connor. I mean, Ray. Quick, Ray. Raiden, Hegadon. Quick. No, that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. No, Zio! So sad, so sad. Bastard. Washington. I swear I'm gonna kill you. Bitch, please. Don't even try it. Do do you even lift, bro? We got this. Kill you are him. fighting the force of liberty. Uh um How? Did you go Ooh. Christ, he's got he's got the apple. How, how, how do they expect us to even do this? Ah, fucking shithead! I can't even. Ah, fuck you, bitch! With my power, Christ! Oh shit! Oh bollocks! I don't think this is possible. It appears. Um. I don't think that ended well. Connor just kissed the mic there. Shit! Mother of God, Washington can tips. <gasps> no, that looks so good, but so no, no, no. Oh, Get that here. Oh, my puppy head nose. Oh, it's too much pain. What? Ah. Oh, fuck you! Oh dear. Oh dear. No. How could this happen? Assassin's Creed 3. The Tyranny of King Washington. Part 1, should I add. I love that effect. I want that as my intro. It's so cool. Here we go then, I thank you. What happened here? It's just black. Five months later. With the ellipsis. Ellipse. I don't remember. Oh, he's, he's fine! <gasps> he's alive! <gasps> what are the odds? Where are we? A safe place, by the grace of your brothers. <sighs> the village. George burned it. It was after your mother. Your stubborn mother. Where is she? She did not listen, and now she is dead. You take the news well. It is something that I knew. That I know. But Commander Washington, the revolution... How did this come to be? No one knows how King Washington came to possess the scepter. 
Now that he has it, no one can stop him. We were surviving. Staying out of his way. It's your mother tried to steal it from him. And that just angered him more. Now, our king are dead. And the people of the frontier are murdered and imprisoned. How did we survive? By the strength granted us. By the Great Willow. A strength you now must find. But my mother, she said... Your mother was a fool, full of ideals and bullheaded. Now that King George's power has been threatened, he is making slaves of everyone. Redonagedon. It falls to you to make good on your mother's mistake. Journey to the Great Willow. Climb her. Retrieve the virgin boughs in her canopy. Drink their essence and gain the power to fight. To bring down this mad King George. What power? Gather your strength, and I will show you. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's gather our strength. Let me just turn my notifications off, because that's going to get annoying with those things keep coming up. There we go. Right, okay. Let's do this. Looks nice. It's snowing. He's been asleep for five months for some reason. That makes sense, doesn't it? You are ready. Great Willow, at the top of the mountain. Yes, I will return with the boughs and perhaps some fresh meat to cook. Oh, never mind the meat. Just bring back the branches, boil them in water, and drink the tea. Only then will you be ready to return and fight back with your brothers. Drink her strength. Become one of us. Leave no tracks leading here upon your return. Go. I will meet you at the Red Willow Tree. Right then. Let's do this thing. Let's freaking do this. <clears throat> Let's doodly doodly do this. Okay, so is that a cave um where Desmond and Oh. No, I thought that was the uh the cave. You know the one from Main AC three. Right, so what we're gonna do is let's have a look at Oh, what's all this? Oh, uh well okay. Oh that's treasure, okay. What's this? That's treasure, this is also treasure. So where the we're in the frontier, but it's a lot smaller than I remember. Um, well, I'm gonna fast travel, I think, because I've heard that you can fast travel to the. Wow, whoa! So it's like the black room, only for the Animus 3.0. Okay. So um, I heard that in the new DLC you can fast travel to missions, which is pretty awesome. I heard that on a little like review that I think it was IGN. I don't remember. It was one of them. It's GameSpot, I think. They did it. That's pretty cool. Right, here we go. Right, br bro. You are on your own now. How dangerous is it? Each journey to the Sky World is unlike any other. For some, it is very dangerous. You will find your answers are at the very top of the willow. Right. I've got to end this part here, guys. So, in the next part, we will climb the willow tree. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to click the annotation at the end of the video to watch the next part. That's it for this part, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.